everyone, Garrett here and welcome to a brand new deck tech video. Today I'm going to talk about my shaman deck that I used in the King Green tournament yesterday when I played against Firebat and I also played like a lot of shaman recently. Like also I s it started in, in China um, where we like split up all nine classes for the team league and one of my three classes was shaman and I played like a ton of shaman on leather. It's like I played no class more than shaman, and I have like a. Um, I would say I have like a 45 card cards list, so I know how to tag like shaman. F uh, I think shaman is very strong right now, and you can tag it like to be very strong against any other class and any other deck. And uh, if you make shaman uh, stronger against the paladin, for example, it will be weaker in another matchup um, let's say um, face hunter or uh, make mage and this is the list i used yesterday so i wanted to make a deck tech video about it it's like a refined tournament deck um, but as i said like it uh, i take I, I play like a slightly different list uh, depending on what i will what i'm expecting to face so if I play like um, if I know uh, for sure that I play against Face Hunter, then I like to play two Zombie Chows, and if I I know I play against like three Argon decks, I would play two Heal Bots and two uh, Power Maze, for example, uh, because it's two Zombie Chows and two, uh, Heal Bots are like the m most important cards, from my experience, um, against heavy Argo decks, and yeah. Um, Power Mace is also very strong too against um, like Zombie Chaos, um, against Rogue it's a very strong guard, against Paladin, every, everything that plays like Knife Juggler, it's also very good against Priest. Um, but since you don't play too many mechs, I will go over the decklist here in a second, mm, if you don't play too many Max the the Power Mace is actually a little bit slow and you take too much face damage because you don't have enough heal in your deck to like recover a lot of decks can just transition into uh, um, pure phase damage later on if you take too much phase damage so let's say i play two um, power maces um, compared to a phase hunter which is like will do a, a lot of uh, phase damage um, in the mid game uh, a shaman is more like a um, bot control deck so if you take too much face damage, you, you might have the f uh, bot control, but you'd still die to like fireballs or like a blade fury plus a viscerate or something. So, taking too much face damage, as I said, is not that good. So, usually, one power maze is like the, um, the sweet spot. Um, I'm playing double lightning bolt. The reason why I play double lightning bolt is um, the more free toughness, two or three toughness minions without death rattle you expect, the better lightning bolt is. So, if you play against Rogue, I like lightning bolt more than a zombie chow obviously because uh, zombie chows enable your opponent to play the game very slowly because they can um, yeah, just kill the zombie chow and stall the game that way and heal themselves and it's not, not a, like a big threat zombie chow has to attack like three times to, to do one point of damage uh, which is not a lot and the shaman doesn't have like tools like Alkanai where you can use the zombie child to deal damage so he will just heal uh, at a point at any point in the, in the game so um, so this deck is like more aggressive because I play the lightning bolts and don't play the zombie chows um, it has the double crackle, it has the double lightning bolts uh, rock biters with Alakia, the flamethron totems fire elementals, doctor boom also does like a lot of damage, power maze um, so you can transition in the mid game to just try to kill your opponent with, with the crackle a lot of the times when he's like um, at 14 15 life in the mid mid game and you have a crackle you can go for for the lethal push because crackle can do if you have a spell power to open up it sometimes it does up to seven damage it's like insane it's it's like a fireball for two mana it's even better than a fireball um, at times, um, so uh, yeah, I played the double Earthshock just in case you play against Handlock, obviously, and it is very 
There's like too many different minions. I try to cut it. Sometimes I play owl. It really depends what you face. When I play, no, I play against shaman. I like to play one owl. Um, or against mad scientist decks. Um, Airshock is very important, especially against mad scientist. Very annoying card. Um, Sylvanas. There's like so many minions. Like right now, because I I don't like to run BGH so much in shaman. It's like. Um, it's one card you can run because almost everyone plays Bird the Boom because the card is broken. Um, but in Shaman it doesn't feel so good to play BGH. You don't have too much room for such techy cards. So you have to hex it. And there's already like enough hex targets before GBG. Like let's say you play against the Paladin, they have Turin and Sylvanas, which you usually have to hex. but even sludge belchers are oftentimes like hex targets for tempo and now they have a doctor boom as well which you have to hex like you, you see where i'm going it's just too many so sometimes you just have to earth shocker sylvanas because you can't afford to hex everything because there's not enough hex in the world for all the strong minions that are right now so i have to play double earth shock to deal with those to protect your board mm, flame tongue totem is still good enough Mm, because I play uh, Hound Creeper, in my opinion, Hound Creeper are kind of cool in Shaman. Like, I, I try to play without them. There's like a lot of players I know that cut two drops because they want to play Totem on turn two, understandable, but that doesn't guarantee you a uh, flame turn Totem. So, you want to play Death Rattle Minions. Um, I play two Hound Creeper, one Harvest Golem, and one Freda, which are sticky and will most likely stay on the board. Something will stay on the board so you can get value out of Flame Turn Totem. The games you lose are where you draw like too many, many removal cards, no card draw, no minions, and or double flame turn totem in your starting hand. And this makes flame turn totem a little bit more consistent. Um, one power maze, as I mentioned, it's very nice against some decks. Uh, it's very nice against Rook, Priest, uh, Mirror, Druid as well. Especially if you can get a uh, buff for Harvest Golem afterwards, it's very very strong. It's like an innovate. Uh, but yeah, playing two two copies of it, it's usually bad. Um, double hex is just the best remover in the game. Um, one Harvest Golem, one Mana Tide Totem. I want to play card at least three card draw cards. Uh, I really like the double Azure Drake still, especially with the double Lightning Storm. I play double light Lightning Storm mainly uh, for Paladins. Yeah, Malatite Totem, it, it, if you can protect it, it gives you a, like a ton of value, it sometimes actually even wins you the game because your opponent has no answer for it and then you can protect it and you keep drawing cards. Um, I like just one Harvest Golem because it's, it's not that strong of a card right now, especially if you don't play two Power Maces, so you can't guarantee it buff the card. Uh, and I don't have to like the, the room for it. Um, I play also one Shredder and one Argus. I play double Argus, but sometimes it's a dead card because you need a board for Argus to be good and Shredder is more consistent, but you need the taunts, especially against Face Hunter. Um, yeah, you need... Usually I run one Sludge Belcher, one Argus and two Zombie Chows to be very consistent against... one Healbot uh, to be consistent against Face Hunter. But yeah, as you, as I mentioned, like this is more tech to beat rogues, for example, and and priests, so it is weaker in a, uh, in a different matchup. Uh, if I knew I would run, uh, play against handlock, I would take in one BGH, for example, as well. Um, yeah, one heal, but it's very good. Also against freeze mage, I think this card kind of makes the matchup heavily more in my favor because of the heal bot. I also like it against Rogue because yeah, sometimes you will just be dead low uh, after the first uh, oil blade fury that your opponent can just like kill you with face damage. So heal bot kind of saves you. It's good against the random uh, face hunters as well and yeah, ju just in general. Sometimes it's good against Fuzzlewood as well, and you can buff it with the Power Maze. So, I try to cut it, but I will sometimes play two here, but mm, I think one is okay. Uh, one Lord Tab, it's a very strong card. It's like the best 5-drop in the game. It's very strong against Rogue. 
good against uh, face druid and it's face druid <laughs> combo druid and it protects your bot at any point so it will help you to transition into uh, agro playstyle it protects your bot and you will it will enable you to deal more damage with your minions uh, it's a it's a core card in every tempo deck in my opinion uh, double fire elemental is like the standard six drop of shaman um, I, I tried one sylvanas it makes it like very strong sometimes i run black knight sometimes saracen um, i'm trying out sylvanas i kind of like it so far so it makes uh, the control matchups much better one doctor boom because the card is broken even though it's the only bgh target and uh, most of the time get bgh it's still too strong like especially against rogue it's a very strong card because rogue can't deal with it and the alakir for agro playstyle and finisher and it's a taunt as well i'm gonna show you some games as well yeah as i said it's like what i played in the tournament it's like tagged for being strong in the tournament and if uh, sometimes when i play leather it depends on what i play against so if i play against a lot of aggro decks i like to play double zombie chows if i play against control decks i sometimes get black knight sylvanas harrison if i lose yeah if i lose to to weapon classes like paladin i like to play harrison uh, yeah chosen games